Oh, happy Monday morning. Um, is this time change killing anybody else? For some reason, I woke up extra early because I think I was just nervous. I was going to like sleep through it, but I, I hope you're surviving this morning. I know that people love this time change because we ultimately get more daylight, but I always feel like this first week is brutal. So um, cheers. We can have coffee together this morning and, and survive it, right? Oh, good morning, Debbie. I'm going to go back to saying good morning to people because it's killing me not to <laughs> for a while there. I was worried if it was distracting people, but it's just good seeing people pop up. So good morning. Um, okay, today is a fun, different day. I get to go work a health fair in Blue Ash. So if anybody is local and you will be there today, please swing by and see me. I would love to give hugs and just say hi in person. So I love doing this kind of stuff because I just love interacting with people and that'll, it'll just be a, a fun, different day for me. Um, so one of the things that I want to talk about and why I'm mentioning the health fair is because I wanted to give and bring the same opportunity that's happening at the health fair to you today. I want to make sure that the people who always show up and support on my end that I'm giving you those same chances to get some fun stuff, to get some free stuff. And so today at the health fair, we're going to be giving away a signed direction, not perfection book. And also, you can see I'm sporting my home fit gear today. I consult for this company called Home Fit, and they are also willing to give a two week um, free training sessions. So that's really cool, too. Uh, depending on where you live, it could be in home or it could be your trainer showing up virtually for you, which might be something brand new for people. It's brand new for me. I'm diving in and trying it. I can't wait to have my trainer just show up in my living room. So I'll let you know how that goes. Maybe I'll really be pushing it after I do it because I just. I think that's so cool that we have technology that allows us to do that. Good morning, Jan. So, okay. So the way that you too can be entered. Yay. Good morning, Jackie. This is fun. I'm back. I'm back to saying hi. Sorry if this is distracting. Um, the way that you can be entered into this drawing would be head over to iTunes and leave a review for the podcast. If you are confused on even how to get to the podcast that we are throwing out there every Friday, um, I am happy to walk you through that process of, of how that might work on your own personal phone. I know each phone is a little different. Just message me. I'm happy to walk you through that. But there's, there's a way that right in that same app you can leave a review, and I just really appreciate that. So if you leave a review for the podcast, your name's going in a raffle, and you too can have the opportunity to either win some free health coaching, free personal training, or... Um, so sessions that way, or also a sign direction, not perfection book, whatever you would choose out of that. Okay, moving forward. The topic of today is meeting, meeting you where you are. Um, so many different reasons why I want to highlight this topic, but let's start with the guest that I get to showcase this Friday in the podcast. Her name is Juliana Fitzmaurice. She is a blogger and also an home fit, personal trainer. That is how we got connected. And just reading her blogs, every time one of her blogs came out, I was like, oh, I like this girl. Like, I love what she has to say. So I'll, I'll post some of her blogs and comments below when we jump off today. But she... I, she was the one who gave me the topic. I had asked her a question at one point and pertaining to clients. And she said, you know, I just really meet people where they are. And so starting with, to her point, let's talk about this emotionally for a minute. And just really, I want you to think insightful today as you're listening of where you think you are. Uh, from a health and fitness end. You can take this fitness, you can take it nutrition, but just really understanding emotionally where you are and just that whole concept, you know, of when we think of like a Jillian Michaels or somebody like a trainer yelling at us or, and we all have this vision of what we think outside professionals, like how they're going to treat us. Um, maybe what a doctor would be telling you, or maybe what a a personal trainer or a dietitian, oh, man, mentioning dietitians, I feel like dietitians kind of have this, this worst reputation of this white coat person sitting across from you, 
going to just really judge your eating behaviors and give you the strictest of strict plan after you meet with them. And I feel like they're the complete opposite. And it's really just this, like, again, connecting with you where you are emotionally and where and how we can like help set your goals. And so today's session is a little bit about trying to shift that image of whether it's dietitian, whether it's personal trainer, whether it's um, a primary, whoever that is in whatever image you have of that person. And in Juliana's point was that if we can meet people where they are and have them trust that, then we can really be that person that helps keep people from falling off. Her example with that was she had a client who jumped in just ready to go, right? And so when the first time they were together, they set all these goals. And then by the next time she came in, this client was crying because didn't meet the goals. The scale wasn't what it was supposed to be. And just like, thank goodness she got to walk through those doors and make sure that she was there in that moment to, to talk that client off the ledge, right? That, hey, I think we just got a little overzealous with the goals and let's like tailor those back and let's make them a little bit more attainable. And that process, if we have that person there to help us mentally keep us in just a nice steady as she goes, that we're much more likely to stay on our journey than if we go hardcore, fall off hardcore. I won't, I won't dive into that. You know that I get on my soapbox with that. So. So one was meeting people where they are emotionally, and then another point was meeting people where they are from like a physical standpoint. And one of my examples was this, was physically, where are we? Are we kind of beginner, intermediate, advanced? You have, and this is perfect because I have my two examples on with us right now, but so we have a person who does not want to be, like if they showed up at the gym and they had a trainer barking orders at them, that would be such a turnoff. And and to walk away sore from every session sounds miserable. And then there's the opposite end of the spectrum with the person who loves to be, you know, hardcore, barely able to walk when the session's over, can't wait to be sore the next day. You've got all different people out there and what our expectations are, what our hopes and our wants are out of what that external source can provide for us. And so it's not about, is there a right or is there a wrong way to do this? It's about, are you doing it your way? Are you having the people who you pull in and trust on your journey help you your way, not, not their way? And then there's the point of meeting you where you are Physically, like, um, are we out meeting in a hiking scenario? Are we at somebody's house meeting in their own home gym? Are we virtually meeting? That is the beauty of this company, HomeFit, too, is that it really opens up that possibility to meet you exactly where you are. Are you traveling? Do you need somebody to show up in your hotel room to personal train you at 4 a.m. in the morning so that you can shower up and get off to your meetings throughout the day? Are you needing somebody at 7 o'clock at night, 8 o'clock at night, 9 o'clock at night once the kids go to bed so that it fits in your schedule? When you can start looking outside the box of like going to a gym, and I'm not saying that a gym's a bad idea. Like I love, I love going to a gym as well, but there are seasons of life and there are times in life that that just doesn't work out as well. It's really hard for me to spend the travel back and forth to a gym and get the workout time in and fit it around the, the kids needs, school needs, blah, 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 right? So in home for me at this season of my life is phenomenal. Um, so just kind of assess your own season of life too, and what your needs are in, in your season. So that's kind of where I'm going with just meeting you where you are physically, emotionally, just you should have, and I have this in bold print on my, on my paper here, everyone is different and we should fully expect to be met exactly where we are. That is not an unrealistic expectation. So 
my questions for you. I ask you today, do you need to be pulling in some resources to put health and fitness at the top of your priority list? Do you have those resources already in place? So, you know, if you start to see life's barriers of time and stress and energy and injury and all of that coming up, do you have those resources that bump your goals right back up to the top of that priority list? Do you know where you are so you understand how to ask somebody else how to help you? So we talk about meeting you where you are, but do you fully understand where you are? Because until you fully understand what you need, it's really hard to ask somebody else to help us where we are, right? Like we sometimes have those expectations that they're just going to get it or they're just going to understand. But a lot of times we just have to be super vocal about what we need. Hey, I don't want to be sore tomorrow. Don't make me sore tomorrow. Or hey, I do want to be sore. I Go ahead, like do what you will. So just don't be afraid to be vocal. Okay, so wrapping up here and podcast will give you way more detail on Friday, but don't forget to leave a review. If you want to be put in, I'm going to do the drawing during next Monday morning session. So if you want to be put in that drawing, leave a review, I'll throw your name in, and then you can either get some free sessions or a book. All right. I always love and appreciate when I see your faces pop up. Thank you. Happy Mondays, and we will chat soon.